it is a lonely place. There's only 33 people here and it's a long way to go home. It's absolutely horrific, the devastation the rabbits have done down here. The main mission for this is total eradication, that is 100% of the rabbits are to be gone. You have to cover a lot of ground and it's a massive job and when you're out there in the field, just in my hunting block alone, and you realise how big the job is, it's a lot more challenging than even I expected. This is sign, this is uh, um, where he's been feeding, it's territory. We're looking for needles in haystacks now that had um, the Khaleesi virus gone through, plus also the poisoning. So there's just the odd one or two rabbits left behind. During the skid time at night, you listen in and if someone gets a rabbit, you're totally stoked for them. But a little bit inside you or me, uh, you know, would like to get one too, just to have one on the board. Each dog has a technical value of around $40,000. These dogs we have here are the top of the cream. He's not improving, so it's probably something spinal. And so the best thing for him is to go back to mainland Tasmania and be looked at by a vet professional. This country is unforgiving. You've got chances of slipping down, quite easily breaking an arm or a leg, even death. It's very easy to die out here. The thing that keeps me going and motivates me is when I look around and I, I see this amazing wildlife and landscape. I absolutely love it. It's basically what I've been training all my life for and uh, yeah, you're thinking, well this could be the last rabbit. Uh, got him, you know, and uh, yeah, it's well worth it.